you mentioned teaching and lecturing, and for that I want to give you just just a glimpse of what the intention behind the whole lecture is. So the goal is that we teach you some stuff that you get competences and you get really the skills, the mindset and the knowledge to solve problems afterwards. Because that's why we study at all. Um, so the actual grade for me is not important. And for you, it shouldn't be either. You should take away the most knowledge, the most skills and the mindset to solve problems in order to apply it afterwards. So take away this message um, in order yeah, to, to be more efficient in learning and to really um, make, it, make it work, to make it effective. effective. Um, so we already told you the learning goals which we have in mind and some of them involve only knowledge. So knowing the name of a pattern and knowing some the core idea is just knowledge. Um, what also is important is to be able to apply it to a specific problem. This is a skill. So that you can apply it in, in another problem which you never heard before. And we also want to give you the mindset that you don't want to over-engineer your solution, for example. That you really uh, think uh, um, and reflect about your behavior and think... Uh, Sometimes people tend to, to know some programming language, for example, very, very well, and they want to apply this programming language for every problem they have. So the golden hammer approach. And this is wrong. There is a tool for every problem, and you should just use the tool which works best. There is no universal tool or design pattern which works for all problems. And this is, this is kind of the mindset. Um, the next thing is there are some areas. So um, basically you take away the professional competences, the, the, the technische Fachkompetenz in German um, from this course. But of course also you take away methodological competences. So for example, working with this online environment would be a, a method how to do it. Um, Applying patterns in your programming languages would be a method how to do it in the exercises. Uh, you also take away some personal and social competences, but these I cannot control per se. So I see um, the chat already works and you don't abuse the chat and I'm very happy about it. So this is some social competence which you already achieved. <laughs> so, But unfortunately, I, do, I will not give you a grade about this. Because talking of grading, um, actually, I have to give you a grade in the end of the course. And the grade should reflect your learning outcomes. And I will ask you questions which uh, involve all three dimensions. So do you have the knowledge? Do you have the skills? And do you have the mindset to solve design pattern related problems, to solve problems which have, which have to do with software architecture and applying design patterns to it. Also, there are some things which I cannot check. For example, especially mindset stuff. I, I cannot ask you a question, are you willing to apply a design pattern? And you can simply ask, uh, answer yes, uh, but this is not a valid assessment question. Um, so during the exam, I will try to tackle these dimensions and areas as good as possible, but there are some things which I cannot uh, assess. Knowing what I will ask you during the exam, you will um, apply uh, your learning to it. So you will adapt learning to it. Of course, we all know there are some uh, Fragen, Fragen catalog out there in, in some, some repositories and you will try to use these uh, questionnaires in order to speed up your learning process. Um, I try to avoid this by asking questions which really need some insight, which really need some reflective thinking and where there is no perfect answer, which you can just Google and, and answer. And I will try to teach you these competencies by doing special methods. For example, this live programming will show you how to apply these patterns and will you show 
um, what are the drawbacks and benefits of each pattern in more detail. Uh, also by repeating over and over again some patterns, uh, maybe they stick longer in, in, your, in your brain. Okay, so after that, um, I don't know if anyone or if you already heard about learning taxonomy levers. This is also something I will, I will uh, really uh, put emphasis on. Um, I, do not I do not want you to just reproduce knowledge. I do not want to just imitate and just list uh, some some uh, yeah enumerations of, of facts. This is not what I want because this is just re reciting. This is just repeating what already has been there. Um, where we want to go is reorganization. That you know how to apply. That you know how to explain something, and that you understand patterns. That you really have an insight already. And uh, where uh, my goal is, but I don't know if I if we will achieve this, is really to um, to teach you transfer knowledge that you can, for example, if you know some some core idea of a pattern, you can derive all other properties from it, and you can apply some design principles behind design patterns to new problems which you maybe have never seen before. So this would be um, the, the, the level I want to achieve and this would be needed out there in the, in the workforce. So if you uh, finished your study, this will be the, the skill and the abilities you need to do afterwards. The king class, of course, is the problem solving class and this is not where I want to go with this lecture. So this would be to find new design patterns yourself to see, oh, I have, this, uh, have, have seen this best practice over and over again. Let's write it down as a pattern and write down what the consequences and the rationale behind this behavior is. But we will not, I uh, will not assess this in the exam and we will just tackle it during, during the lecture a little bit, just to give you a glimpse how this could work. So this would be the, the, the king class. And this would be what you would do if you do a, a PhD <laughs> at the institute, for example. For, yes, if you join us for a project, I was about to say, uh, this is not the intention of Michael, but it's the intention probably of me to have you joining in our research group and also joining our research. And also, um, the further you come up in the stairs, the easier the exam would be for you, I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, way easier. Because, of course, um, there are some questions which which will ask for for knowledge reproduction, but most of the questions in the exam actually target this reorganization and transfer level. So can I apply this this core idea of a pattern to another problem? Um, can I relate patterns to each other? Can I tell what is the difference between an adapter and a proxy? What is the difference between a command and a strategy? Or what are the similarities? And so on. So um, this would be the, the level I will ask during the, during the exam. And of course, to answer these questions, you need to know the patterns. So this, this includes all, all levels below. But I will not ask for details and I will not ask to you to exactly reproduce some definition I give you. Uh, tell it in your own words and and try to reflect. Is this even my understanding of a, of a pattern? Okay. So Lao Tzu told, uh, if you tell me, I will listen. If you show me, I will see. But if you let me experience, I will learn. And that's what we are striving for. So as more as you take part in this in this online lecture, the more you will learn.